Welcome to another vlog. I hope you're all doing really, really well. We have a lot to catch up on. Let me sit down. I have been gone for two weeks. I think that I've forgotten how to speak and I'm a little bit camera shy right now, I'm not gonna lie. I have missed you guys so much. Please let me know in the comments how you've been. I feel like I am filming on probably the worst day. It's so, so gloomy outside right now and the natural light, this is literally all the light that's coming from outside. It is truly November. It feels like winter has started. It feels like we completely skipped October and autumn to be honest and we've just gone straight to winter now it's absolutely freezing i have so much to catch up with you guys on and so much to show you guys from the last two weeks first off can we just talk about this fleece it is my new fleece from asos it says weekend collective i think that's the label that is from inside asos but it's honestly so comfy it's the best and i really want to get it in white but it's currently sold out so I'm keeping an eye on that the clocks went back last weekend and since then i've just sort of been like in this funk where I have not wanted to go out in the evening every single day I get home from work it's dark outside already so it feels like it feels almost like I've worked overtime and then come home late and it's time to go to bed straight away which I know isn't right but my body just hasn't like fully gotten back into the swing of winter yet and I'm still kind of feeling those funky vibes so I'm not enjoying it to be honest usually I'm one who absolutely loves winter and absolutely loves like the cold I love it when the dark nights roll in. I'm weird, I know, I'm weird. But to be honest, this year I've just not been feeling it. And do you know what? I've not even been watching The Great British Bake Off. Which is like my signal for like the run up to Christmas. That is one of my favourite shows that comes out every single year. And I've just not been interested in watching it this year. I think I'm just going to wait until it's finished and then catch up in like a big binge watch. I need to run out to the shops to get a couple of bits today. This morning I got ready, did my makeup did my hair, had a shower, do you know like the whole thing, the whole shebang. Let's just see what happens. Say hi to everyone. <laughs> Seeing as we're ready now, we thought we may as well go out, do the shops, get that out of the way first, then we can carry on with the rest of the day and not have to worry about leaving the house again. Get all the jobs done. Yeah. Come home. Chill. Yeah. I want to winter up the house a little bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See for me like I would put the Christmas decorations up right now if I could but you wouldn't let me. Too early. Yeah, maybe I do agree it is a little bit early. So we're gonna winter up the house a little bit, change the bed sheets to give them like less of an autumn feel. Might have a look in Thainsbury's to see if they have any nice homeware. <laughs> Does anyone else's partner just hate Shopping with them. I swear like you hate shopping with me. I like shopping with an agenda. I can't just go into a place and be like, what's that, what's that, what's that? I need to go into a <laughs> shop and know exactly what I'm getting in and out. Yeah, see, I like a browse. Mm. And I feel like today is going to be a browsy day. I'll just have to deal with it, won't I? Yeah. Get on board. <laughs> I think I'm going to take the Uniqlo bag. Tried and true. We're just getting ready to go out now. We're just letting Nero out for a wee before we go so that he's all covered i'm so sick of my hair ever since it's gotten colder it's just so dry i'm molting everywhere i feel like i need to change up my shampoo and see if i can like make it a little bit better i want to try and like get my hair in a place where i'm happy with it before our wedding which i will update you guys on later in this video we have started planning it now and i'm so excited it's unreal we both are I've got my little Uniqlo bag ready to go and ready to head off to the shops. I love this fleece so much. It's the best. I also have on my little smiley face socks today, trying to spread some joy in the gloomy weather. Pinch its cheeks. Cute. Here is today's fit real quick. I've got the fleece on from ASOS, got the Uniqlo bag. Got these stripy ribbed leggings and then I have the socks and Air Force Ones. <laughs> I'm gonna fall. You just decided you're gonna wear your new Vans, didn't you? 
it's time. Yeah, tag's being snipped. It's official. It's official now, no going back. <laughs> Show us your new shoes. New shoe day. They're squeaking. They're so squeaky. Okay, so the agenda for Sainsbury's is the clothing section, the book section, and the Christmas section. All the necessities. <laughs> yep, all of the necessities. Then in M&S, we're actually going there because I've sneakily spied on Instagram that they have chocolate Jenga. That sounds interesting to me. So we're going to go and see if we can find that. And I think I'm going to get it for gifts for people, depending on if the date's good. But I definitely want to pick one up for us because chocolate Jenga, that's the future. You can't get it, but you can only play it once. We had this conversation. You can only play it once. Yeah, right? but it's extra fun because you get to eat the chocolates. It's like, it's like a game you could play after dinner and have dessert. socks this is my kind of thing it's like a nudie but as jay just said i have a million hundred blankets I, I do i have a lot so we'll leave it for now this one only 22 pounds right down the stairs we go we're gonna actually do some shopping now for food we're gonna treat ourselves to some christmas chocolate because we're kind of fancying it usually we go quality street or roses they're our faves but i think we're either gonna go heroes or celebrations this time around we had the conversation the other day like quality street primo christmas chocolate yeah agreed. we had them too early last year so we did we kind of ruined it I kind of think heroes yeah yeah let's go heroes we're done at Sainsbury's and I feel like there's a running theme today of the shops just not having things that we've gone to get. Do you agree? Yes. We're going to head to a different M&S now. They had nothing in that first M&S if you couldn't tell from the clips. We're heading to a different one now and hopefully they've got some nice stuff in there that we can get. We've got quite a good haul from Sainsbury's that I'll show you when I get home. It was mostly stuff that we didn't, we didn't, didn't need it. Yeah, we didn't need it but we wanted it at the time. So we treat ourselves seeing as it's Saturday. And to the M&S. Hopefully you have a better look in there and I will show you when we get there. It's a really cute M&S, it's new and it's just opened. It's really fancy. So looking forward to a little trip there. Also just want to say, I feel like honestly, the Christmas levels were so high in there. It felt like it was December. Yeah, it did. Like there's Merry Christmas signs out, all the Christmas food is out and ready to go. It, it is a much. yeah, it is a bit much when it's only just turned November. That's where it never used to be like this. Or maybe it's always been like this and I just didn't remember it. I mean it didn't stop us buying Christmas themed food, but <laughs> I, I won't spoil it for the haul. We won't spoil it for the haul, but we got some really fun bits. <laughs> has just gone in to B&M to get Nero some treats. I'm glad that he's just like decided to run in because I really couldn't be bothered to go in there. It's kind of feeling very, very wintry right now. Christmas is coming people, it's coming fast and I'm not prepared. Normally I'm the type of person who knows exactly what they're gonna get everyone, like literally I have all of my stuff planned but this year I feel like I've kind of run out of ideas, like I've used up all my good ideas previous years and now I'm just sort of stuck. I'm like I don't know what to get anyone. I don't buy for many people don't get me wrong only a couple but usually I'll do one main present and then a couple of other little presents around and just so they have something to open but I just literally have no idea what to get anyone. I usually keep notes in my phone when people say oh I fancy this or oh I quite like that I'll make a note but this year I've just been so unprepared I don't know if anyone else feels this way it's kind of nuts. I'm hoping that I just kind of get like a light bulb moment and know what to buy people because I am stuck and do you know what it's coming fast I feel like it's gonna be here before we know it and I'm worried but also really excited like we were looking at all the board games in Sainsbury's and we always buy a new board game every Christmas and 
I'm just so excited to pick this year's board game. That's one of my favourite things to do and have family round and celebrate because obviously we're engaged this year. So not long after we have Christmas, will be our wedding, which I'll tell you more about a bit later, but it's just going to be an exciting one this year. And we're home, so I said I'd do a little haul. So I'm going to show you guys what we got. It's mostly Christmassy bits, I won't lie. From Sainsbury's, we ended up getting a big box of Heroes, which I think you saw us pick up. Not my favourite, but I'm leading up to the good chocolate. So if we start with these, then come Christmas, we can get the quality treats out and they feel a bit more special, not like we've been eating them for two months. Some white mocha instant coffee sachets, the Starbucks kind. <laughs> Some Christmas pasta. I think this is like a tricolor pasta, but it's in Christmas shapes. I'm sorry, Jay is just putting away all of them. There you go. He's just putting away the Diet Coke. We also got a big pack of Diet Pepsi, as we always do. Then in MS, we wanted to go in and get a couple of Christmassy bits for gifts and stuff just before they all end up selling out, as they usually do. So the first thing that we got was this Winter Wonder Bar. <laughs> The Jenga that we were on about, it's chocolate topple tower. I think, I think the idea is that you pull one out and then eat it. So maybe we'll do that at Christmas. That is it for the haul. Now we're gonna put all this away and I kind of want some heroes. I think that we're gonna eat some heroes now. So I'm gonna crack those open. And I want to show you guys my ideal order. So like, you know, when you put your favorite at the top and the worst at the bottom, I'm gonna order them and I'll get Jay to order them. Oh. And you, yeah, we did this not long ago, a couple of years ago on Instagram with celebrations and Jay won massively. I'll pop it here, pop the screenshot here. I don't know how he won because his Snickers is so low. Who likes Snickers? Everyone likes Snickers. Know. Yes, they do. Snickers is one of my favorites. But we're going to do it with heroes and then you guys can tell us in the comments who's the winner of this year's. And I determined to win this year. It's going to be me. Nah. Okay, I've done mine. Now I'm just waiting for Jay to do his. Well, a dinky decker. Amazing. I think that's new. I've never seen that before. Okay, well, I'll come back to you once it's decided. Okay, here's the final result. You've gone for caramel at the top. Yeah. I think that's controversial. Why? We've both done fudge as a third. I think a lot of people don't like a fudge. I feel like cream egg should be higher. Like that is, that is just unhinged putting a cream egg there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right is me and the left is Jay. Which is closest to your stack? And also let us know what would be top and bottom of your stack. I feel like the eclair is by far the worst. Like we both agree on that. It's just, it's the one you don't want as much. Like it's not that it's bad, it's just, yeah, I wouldn't eat that one. Yeah. I'd leave it. More for me then. Let us know guys, what do you think? I'm in the bedroom. We're gonna have a little bit of a floor chat. I said that I was gonna update you guys on wedding bits and bobs. So I thought we'd just do it here. What better way than to sit on the floor and just sit and chat to you guys. So we have booked our wedding. A date is set. We had the trip booked to New York and we've always said throughout our whole relationship that we would love to get married in New York one day. So we just thought we're going to New York in three months. Why don't we just sack off the big wedding and do it then? So I'm so excited. Jay's so excited. We have been booking things non-stop for the last two weeks because with me, like I'm the type of person who just wants to get it sorted. As soon as we had the idea in our heads, we knew what date we wanted to do it and could do it. I was like, right, let's just book everything. And then throughout December, we can enjoy Christmas. And then after it's time to get married. That feels so, so bizarre to say. I actually can't wait. And I feel like it will give January like a bit of something, you know, like January is my least favorite month. So I feel like if our wedding anniversary is in January, that's perfect because then we'll have something to celebrate after Christmas and it won't be like really just sad. We have booked our photographer who is amazing. Cannot wait to share her with you guys once the wedding is over. And we've also booked an efficient who's gonna marry us in New York. Booked the photographer, booked the efficient. I've actually found a dress already. It's actually been a fairly smooth process so far, which has been lovely because obviously you don't want to stress when you're about planning a wedding. After that, obviously, we're just going to enjoy the rest of the holiday in New York and it's going to be like the best memory ever. So, yeah, we felt like this was right for us because we've never really wanted like a huge affair. Like, I'm so excited to feel out of breath from talking. I do that all the time. Like, I talk really, really fast and then get out of breath. So I feel like that now. It's happening. Are you okay? Also wanted to show you guys some bits that I've purchased recently from Glossier. Got the perfume. I think it's called You. And then I repurchased Boy Brow. 
in the color brown perfume is really lovely in this little bottle and i'm not very good at describing smell i love bronze goddess for the summer so i just thought i'd get this one for the winter and for the wedding just so that i can have a smell that reminds me of it you know you know what i mean when i say that right like a smell where when i smell it it takes me back to that memory just kind of got everything on the bed right now but this is the asos bride box i'm not going to show you the dress however <laughs> I did get this. It's a waffle dressing gown and thought that it would be really, really good for, you know, when I'm in the hotel room getting ready. That is what I got it for. I did get it in a large and it's massive. Don't get me wrong. It's way too big. It kind of looks like I'm wearing my mum's dressing gown. But <laughs> when it's a dressing gown, I feel like bigger is better, like it's more comfy. So yeah, it's from H&M and they do loads of different colours in this. But it's really good quality and I'm excited to get ready in it. I just thought it was something a bit special. I also bought The Patient by Jasper Do It On recommendation of one of you guys, I think someone recommended this to me on my horror book video. And I was like, that sounds so up my street. So I have purchased this. Mind the Peloton in the background. But I also got this little jumper for work, which I think is going to be really lovely. It's black in true form like it's like a zip neck if you can see sort of like a ribbed material which i absolutely love i think i'm gonna get loads of wear out of this one in the winter also from h&m i got that at the same time as a dressing gown what else have i bought i also bought this cute little cropped leather jacket from top shop it's kind of like the other one that i bought but it's cropped it was literally 22 pounds in the sale so i was like that is a bargain got it from asos of course but yeah, it's practically the exact same but cropped. I was thinking it could sit on top of the lots or when I'm wearing a dress that cinches in at the middle, it can just pop that on top. Loved it for that price, so that was another bog. Here's a better look at my outfit too. Although actually, it's probably not a better look because it's so dark in here. I did have the idea of doing a really snazzy transition, but then I laid down on the bed and now I can't move. It's looking quite forest green. I thought it was going to be more olive than this. It is a lot darker than what I thought it would be. I don't know why, because we'd, we'd seen the packet, but it is a lot darker. Like a Christmas colour. Okay, now that's all done, I'm going to take my makeup off and chill for the rest of the night. I'm going to make some tacos for dinner and relax. So I'll catch up with you in a bit. But for now, makeup off and chill time. <laughs> later now we ended up making dinner we actually watched Enola Holmes 2 which was really really good it's a long film but it was good I've just been editing for the past couple of hours and Jay is already falling asleep so I'm gonna end the vlog here thank you so so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already to see all my future content have an amazing day or evening depending on where you are and I will see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>